Melbourne researchers have developed a new screening test for Parkinson's, indicating if someone has the disease even before physical symptoms develop. Medical reporter Emily Rice says the assessment is remarkably simple and effective. When 67-year-old Peter Honey's hands started relentlessly shaking 20 years ago, he was eventually diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. You know something's wrong, but you're not sure what it is. Partner Elsie Menon, who he met at a yoga class, also endured countless medical appointments before her diagnosis. For me to accept Parkinson's was a bit hard. I thought that was the end of my life. While Parkinson's is the most common neurological disorder after dementia, there is no diagnostic test for it. So many people suffer unknowingly for years before symptoms are recognised and treatment begins. By the time patients start having tremors or the shakes or stiffness, slowness of movements, 80% of the brain cells have already died. Now, RMIT University and Dandenong neurology experts have developed a new screening tool to help indicate early on if someone has Parkinson's. Patients are instructed to draw a spiral, which is analysed by specially developed software. What we're looking for is uh, the way they draw the spiral, the speed, the pressure. A loss of dexterity is one early indicator of the condition. And there is where the difference between a person with Parkinson's disease and the person without Parkinson's disease is. Another advantage of this spiral test is it's not language dependent, meaning it can be rolled out worldwide and the results won't get lost in translation. The test is proving 93% accurate, but more refinements are needed before it becomes routine. And when it comes to living with Parkinson's, knowledge is power. If I can control the uh, the, the Parkinson's, the rest of my life seems to fall into place pretty well. Being positive is the best thing for me. Emily Rice, Nine News.